Yes, this is Clifford Bassey. The lion has fallen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, this is uh, Clifford Bassey. Can I speak with Nick? Clifford, you sound really worried. I hope there's no... Hey, look, look. Can I speak with Nick for Christ's sake? Don't yell at me. Besides, I thought you always knew where my husband is. I do... He's an idiot. Maybe you have another lover you're hiding from me, right? I swear, I don't know. Good. Nicholas Quale. Uh, listen, Nick. The king just gave up the ghost. Cliff, I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Do you understand me? You, you know me better than all of this. I don't play pranks. All right? The king is gone. You need to start moving immediately. Huh? So that bastard called Victor or whatever wouldn't start fiddling with your inheritance. Okay. What is it? Shut up. Nick, is everything... Quiet. I'm supposed to be crying right now, but I am so overjoyed. You know why? Yeah, because the whole world is about to realize that my own world has just started. They are about to witness the genius who has been hiding under the shadow of a giant. <laughs> Give me the good news. Well, they say the lion is the king of the jungle. But I say no. It's the cobra. The venom remains to spread to the bloodstream. Oh, that will be taken care of. Done with. Oh, what of our angel of death? <laughs> Our angel of death is safe. She's on her way to you. Good work, Clifford. One down, two to go. That will also be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs>
daughter. For over 10 years, I tried to send you to your forefathers, but you refused to die. At last! <laughs> Victory is mine! What? <laughs> Don't raise your voices. Nobody has heard about it yet. Who you know? What is going on there? My lady, I'm afraid I hear bad news. Bad news? My lady, the old one has fallen. Bore, you do not play with things like that. I hate cheap gossip and you know that. My lady, it is not gossip. Edika said he heard it from the palace guard who escorted him on the horse walk this morning. Do you have details? My lady, he said the horse suddenly started behaving funny like some animal that's possessed with demons. Why didn't he inform me? Why am I always the last to know about things happening in this palace? Nick, is it true? Is what true? About the king. I am king now. And if you're talking about my father, he's dead. Why didn't you tell me? What kind of a man did I marry? You, you, you have to calm down. You have to relax, for Christ's sake. Look, this is just too sudden, too sudden. I, I'm telling you, I am worried. <laughs> well, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I'm surprised you're worried. Uh, isn't this what you've been nursing secretly? Hey, listen, though my father may have faltered on certain decisions and judgments, he still remains my father, you know? Yeah. I understand. You see, uh, your father is still alive, right? Of course, my father is still alive. Then shut up because you do not understand or have any idea as to how I feel right now. Look, Nick, you're just being pessimistic. Why do you say that? Why I say that is that I see it in your eyes that you're frightened. You're scared. You're afraid of the enormous responsibilities and sad responsibilities that lay in wait for you. Well, no. Perhaps so. <laughs> then relax. Why do you have me? Why do you have me if I cannot make things work out for you? Come on, man. Relax, because uh, when they come, people will ask you. When you have a man like me, you shouldn't have to go through all of this. I'm right here. I will die. <laughs> Just a little. Hmm. Ah, that's it. You see, some of these things come and go. 
you know, Cliff, I must admit you've been a good friend and a wonderful advisor and lawyer to me. <laughs> yeah, um, I must say, yes, what can I do for you? Can't you see we're busy? I want to speak to you. Well, I'm listening. Privately, please. Clifford is no stranger to us. Excuse us, please. Clifford stays. Barrister Clifford, Bassey, I need to speak to my husband in private, please. Cliff, I do not permit you to leave. Prince Nicholas Kuale, I need to speak to you privately, alone, right now. Um, uh, Nick, uh, don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll be in the living room. wise. This is not the time for you to make irrational decisions. You need wise counsels and that is why you should speak to Uncle Victor, not with Cleve. The king despised him. You have no idea as to what is going on, right? Now I'll tell you this. That old fox Victor Oduchi is the main reason why I've been at loggerheads with my father. Now I wouldn't be surprised if there was no foul play in my father's death. That man has always wanted to discredit me and my younger brother, you know. How can you say that? How can I say a thing like that? Now, I'll tell you this. Though your father is a chief in the King's Council, you know next to nothing about what goes on in Park Kingdom. I'm talking about the clear cut politics. Now, if not for Clifford, I would have been long banished from this kingdom. Do you know that? This is why I am worried about you. You wouldn't listen to me and you will be hey, misled. Hey, hey, listen, listen. There you go again with this, your stupid premonition. Now, since you're a very good thinker, I need you to think real hard as to how you're going to conceive and give me a son, okay? And get back to me. What do we have on Richard, Nicholas's brother? Well, um, nothing much, um, except that he graduated from a British university with first class honors, and uh, the fact that he doesn't want to come back to the kingdom, that's all, nothing more. A man cannot be completely clean if you search him thoroughly. It is believed that he married a Jamaican woman and they had a son together. The late king was greatly concerned about this because he was hoping that Richard would come back and join the family business. He is actually King Amos' favorite child as he looted Nicholas and his foolish ways. So, thanks to Clifford Dome, <laughs> you have done a thorough job on him by not only misleading him, but been watching him to continuously look stupid before his father. Thank you, Ricobra. Oh, you are welcome, my boy. You see, what we are fighting for is for the betterment for her. Your late father, who died out of a heart attack when King Amos Quarley deceived him into investing unwisely will certainly be very proud of you in his grave. Thank you, Cobra. Be good, my daughter. Be good. And of course, Clifford, you know, I trained you because of similar incident. King Amos Quale executed your father with false accusation, planning an opera in the kingdom. So you see, besides the gain that will come to us by destroying Amos Quale's household, you are also honoring your fallen heroes. I'm really concerned about Sir Victor Ducci. He seems like a very difficult nut to crack. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to say, but uh, you see, eliminating him at this point in time will arouse serious suspicion. 
which could be detrimental to this whole operation. Well, um, Jeff, I'm watching him closely. You see, he holds the key to the throne because he's capable of manipulating things. Very dangerous human being. But I'm watching him. <laughs> Emma Squally, my son, who was no fool. He must have planned things in such a way that if anything happens to him, only someone he believes in will be in charge. Well, Nicholas is the first son, he's the heir to the throne. And so, um, the throne is his. It took the ingenuity of an angel of death to silence Imasquale after several years of refusing to die of arrows, guns, bullets, and even bugs. Let's watch and see as the drama will unravel. Hmm. The time is here. The cobra. People of Kwa Kingdom, the sun has refused to rise. A dark shadow looms over the Kwa Kingdom because the lion roars no more. But not to worry. Everything is under control. However, we must tread with utmost caution. The little little beasts might begin to hunt without fear. <laughs> Don't you dare sit on that throne. Says who? Prince Nicholas. You have no right to sit on that throne until you are crowned. That is the custom. Our sacred tradition. Enough. I said enough. Now sit down. I said sit. Now I do know that my father's corpse is still lying in the mortuary, waiting for his befitting royal burial. Now I ask you, why wasn't I informed of this meeting? It is not correct that you were not informed. Sir of this Victor meeting. Oduchi, I take exceptions to you not addressing me as a noble prince of this kingdom. Prince Nicholas, have you forgotten that you are before the chiefs of the king's council. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, Prince Nicholas Quale. Good! That is what I am to you. Prince Nicholas Quale, the next king of Kwa Kingdom. By this special grace of God. And don't you ever forget that. Now 
will you get out of my royal way? Uh, gentlemen, before I was rudely interrupted, I meant to educate us on our customs and tradition. Uh, just in case you might have forgotten in your wisdom that Clifford Bassey here has no right to be here. You are correct. I will not listen to your foolish old ways of doing things. I am here to reform, transform, change the custom and the cake tradition of our people. Wow. Prince Nicholas, this meeting will not proceed then until he has left. I don't see anything wrong in this. Let, let him stand. No, gentlemen. Just in case, Prince Nicholas, Clifford Bussey might have been your loyal servant and advisor. Or, shall I say, a misadvisor. But the fact remains that he is of no royal blood. There is nothing wrong with his a lot of things. Uh, uh, what what is all this? Things. There is something oh. wrong about it. Huh? Okay, Clifford. Clifford. Okay. If you are asked to leave, please. Yeah, now my prince is wise. Now what's next? Well, it may interest you, Prince Nicholas Quali, that your father has a will that will be publicly pronounced on the arrival of your brother. That still doesn't stop me from taking over my father's companies. It has everything to do with it, Prince. Because your brother, who, as we speak, is on his way from the United Kingdom, is also a benefactor. Oh. Oh. Don't even speak to me. I mean, why didn't you counsel me properly? Why? You made everything seem so easy. You said, walk in there, take over your father's throne, thereby becoming the chairman of Ari's global group of companies. Yes, I said that. I said it. But I didn't know that Sir Victor, whatever, was going to spring a surprise on us. I mean, I had assumed that... I did not make you my advisor based on assumptions, Clifford! <laughs> well... Since I am not of the royal blood, as Sir Victor, whatever, rightly said, who would have assumed that you, with all the royalty and royal blood flowing in your veins, you should know better than anyone else about your father's will? Yes, yes, Prince Nicholas Quale.
That's better. I also have a fresh delivery of your favorite stuff. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this one? Oh. Please give me, give me, give me. I, I need something to make my head think now. <laughs> I, I need to think straight. Come on. Please, come on, come on, come on. Still my younger brother. Oh. Yeah. Which is your father's pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. What makes you think that being your father's pet, your father wouldn't have willed a larger chunk of his business empire for him to control? Eh? We need him. We need Richard before Victor and his cohorts poison his mind. And as for Victor himself, I have another plan, another proposition altogether. Come on, my prince, wrap it up, wrap it up. Uh. Richard, I'm worried. We are trying to stir up trouble between the brothers. My lady, I thought what you should be concerned about now is how my lord will become king and how you will become the queen. Really? Yes, my lady. And I will be the proud maid of the queen. My lady, I visualize the ceremony. And I see different friends from different kingdoms coming to admire my queen. Why, Ure, there's more to your fantasy than you can comprehend. The thought of Richard coming back is, is scary. I wouldn't be able to face him. You are from a far kingdom. You do not know what transpired between Richard and I, or how I ended up marrying his elder brother, Nicholas. Ure. Sit. Please. I am the reason Richard has refused to come home after his education in the UK. from the king's palace from my father no the bearer said it's for you for me yes Turn it back.
You are cheating. <laughs> uh, there are no rules in this spot. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So, give me your heart. Okay, you have my heart forever. Promise? Promise, yeah. <laughs> Listen, there is something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Okay. Shoot me. Um, I'll be leaving the kingdom very soon. Come on, don't look at me like that. Just a couple of years. A couple of years? Yes, I'll be traveling to the United Kingdom for my studies. What becomes of me then? Come on baby, you know I love you. But I also want you to know that it's imperative that I go for my studies so I can be able to take in charge of my father's business. Your elder brother Prince Nicholas can run your father's business? I understand. But my father's wish is for me to travel. And I can't disobey him. Wait here. My heart will be broken. Come on, your heart will not be broken. Because your heart will be where I will be. So will you wait for me? <sighs> Don't be silly. Of course I'll wait for you. And there's no other man there for me. My daughter, what troubles you? I'm not happy, Father. And why is it so? I want to travel to the UK to study. 
I know this sudden decision has something to do with Prince Richard, right? Yes, Father. I want to be where he is. Helen, my daughter, you know I love you so much and I can do anything for you. But unfortunately, things are no longer well with us the way it used to be. I lost a fortune in a transaction I had last time, and it crippled me financially. Father, that's why you've been unhappy. Why didn't you tell me? There are things a father cannot discuss with his family. Anyway, I'm striving to see how to restore our family's lost glories. I'm sorry, Father. I have no idea. I was discussing with Prince Nicholas last time over some business deal and uh, he mentioned something like uh, wanting to see you. The young man means no harm. It will please me if you accept to see him, please. My father was, and he's still very indebted to Nicholas. It was the heartbreak that killed my mother. The king had to marry me off to Nicholas when they realized I was pregnant. It was this heartbreak that killed the queen. Shortly after, I caught Nicholas with his concubine. We had a fight. I lost the pregnancy. And... And since then, I haven't been able to conceive. My name is not young man. My name is Prince Nicholas. Oh, pardon me, Your Majesty. Prince Nicholas Kuali. I'm an old man now, and I seem to forget so much things. Sir Victor Oduchi, or would you prefer I address you like I used to in my childhood as Uncle Victor? Well, as it pleases my prince. Well, I've come to apologize for my behavior the other day. I was, um, foolish. Apology is accepted. I understand that the sudden death of your father and the obvious responsibilities could be overwhelming. You're very correct. You see, you've always remained my favorite uncle because um, you're very patient and understanding too. Uh, uh, thank you, my prince. Oh, now that you have obviously made your point, uh, I will take my leave. But you will know that even before you summon my attention, I always remain your loyal servant. Uncle Victor, I have a proposition to make to you. Oh, well, I'll, I'll be glad to be of help if you find my services worthy of your approval. Sit down. I do understand that you still are battling to save the life of your first son who got smitten by a strange illness. Uh, that is correct, Your Majesty. And it's costing you a fortune. 
that again is uh, correct? Well, I am not my father and I can never be like him. But if there's any way I should emulate the man, it should be in the direction of taking care of his people, who are my people as well. And in turn, I require your wise counsel because, like I said earlier, I have been um, foolish. I'll be glad to be of assistance, Your Majesty, in any way you see me fit. As my father's counsel, I'm sure you have full knowledge of what the will contains. No. No, no, Your Majesty. I was never privileged to know. Uncle Victor, I'm offering you 20% of what my father owns if you do direct everything in my favor. <sighs> my prince, do you by any means have any reason to believe of that the will might not be in your favor. It is my birthright to take over from my father. So you see, I just believe your wisdom. Oh, well in that case you have no reason to bribe me then, Your Majesty. I'll take my leave now. Did you have a wonderful day? between you and Prince Nicholas. He, he took me to somewhere and he raped me. He did what? He raped me. That's a lie to speak against the prince of this kingdom. Do you realize that? I swear. You cannot swear because I know what happened. A lot of young women in this kingdom would give their right hands for what happened to you to happen to them. Well, soon he will be the new king in this kingdom. Think of what you stand to gain as one of his concubines. Now, have you spoken to anybody about this? No, well, Chief. Good. Do not let other servants know what happened to you. 
no matter the level of their inquisitiveness. Yes, Chief. Good. You will be adequately rewarded for keeping a seed lip. Hmm? Yes. Whenever Prince Nicholas wants you, oblige him. <laughs> With or without my consent. Eh? Yes, Chief. Advice chief gave to you, that's what got you to this being with you. Please, please. Can't believe me, please. You know I can't believe You're my wife to be. And everything that concerns you concerns me. So please, my dear, I I do not know the truth. Come on, please. Lady. I tried. It was just <laughs> Why? Why? Of, of all the beautiful women in this kingdom, why my own? What is the pride of a man if he cannot protect that which is his? What? Oh, bye. Better to live in shame than to die of foolishness. Please. I am no coward, Lily. I am no coward and will never be a coward. Nicholas. Nicholas. You will not get away with this. I know what you call Richie boy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. good. That's good. That's wonderful. Wow. Well, oh, come on. Let's wait for you properly. Okay, then.
That right there, uh, Prince, uh, is uh, the king's wish. He gave me that shortly before he departed to the great beyond. I suspected I must have um, known of his departure. Ah, there you are. Richie boy. <laughs> Prince Nicholas. <laughs> so what's going on? But I was just having word with uh, Uncle Victor. Uh, whatever it is you're chatting with Uncle Victor can wait, okay? You see, people soon start trooping over to my place and we don't need to keep them waiting. Do we? Okay, uh, yeah. okay. In that case, let me just go in, have a shower, change of clothes, and I'll be with you guys. That's my kid, brother. <laughs> Alright, excuse me. That's my kid, brother. Alright? Oh, my friend, Take my leave. Yes. Gentlemen. Victor, why didn't you tell me about my father's death? I do not understand. Accept it. My father's death was an accident. An accident you could not help. What I want to know is, was my father's death deliberately arranged? Uh, well, well, yes, but we don't want the enemies to know that we have knowledge of it. Uncle Victor? My prince. Do you look at me as the enemy? No, that is ridiculous. Of course not. So why did you keep such an important information away from me? Well, you need to settle in. Uh, your father is gone and it's quite unfortunate that we cannot bring him back. But we have to prepare you for the inevitable. Such as? Well, the, the enemy. You need to be protected and, and shielded. Because we don't even know who is who. May I ask you a question? Uh, uh, please do, I, and, and I promise to counsel you to the best of my abilities. Just like I did your father, it was his wish. Who stand to benefit if something happens to us? Us? Uh, well, we cannot begin to talk about that now, my prince, uh, since your father's will has not been publicly pronounced. Of the content. 
uh, well, well, I might have counseled him uh, from time to time here and there. But, but mind you, the main content of the will was between your father and his lawyer. Which bring it back to us. All stand to benefit if something happened to my brother and I. Well, my, my prince, we cannot start to talk like that because nothing is going to happen to neither you nor your brother. Your father gave me special instructions. That doesn't answer my question, Uncle Victor. Well, uh, since you don't have an heir, and I dare say your brother Nicholas don't have neither, uh, that naturally comes to the next of Cain. And that would be me, my prince. understand my lady. Oh, come on, Ure. Can't you see what they're planning? No, I don't. Ure, where is your sense of reasoning? Where is it? They're planning to poison Richard against Uncle Victor. But are the brothers not supposed to team up against formidable forces? No. But if the king's death was arranged, someone is behind everything that is happening. That person is like, like a chess player. Calm and yet calculative. My lady, perhaps Uncle Victor is trying to, to, to destroy the brothers for his own selfish reasons. No, never. He's an honorable man, trusted by the king with his own life. My lady, where is the king now? Oh, well, that is a foolish question. My lady, pardon me to say this. If the king trusted Uncle, Uncle Victor with his life, where was he when the king died? I was told he was there. He must have been helpless. We have to warn Richard. I mean, this is a plot. My lady, on whose side are you? Your husband or his brother? enough reason for you to neglect me. I have my needs. Don't I provide for you? Yes, you do. But not when it matters most. So what exactly are you implying? When last did you make love to me? I'm beginning to fear that you no more find me pleasurable. Well, I'll keep wondering. I'm a woman, your wife. I need your love. I've heard you. Not that's, now. That's what you said last week. That is what you said two weeks ago. You have been neglecting me for over three months now. Oh, well, there are much more important things to attend to. Besides, being with you this while has it produced children. And that is supposed to be my fault? Look, it's either you change this annoying topic or let me be with my thoughts. I see. The death of the king wasn't an accident after all. Then you had better say what you know. I might look like a fool to you, but listening to this foolish but wise counsel of mine, you certainly will not go wrong. It's very obvious you're on heat and it's beginning to distort your mind. Say what you wish. But you must reconsider Cleve. Something tells me he can't be trusted. He, he just, he cannot be trusted. 
Let's do it. Don't you ever, ever say evil before me again. Do you understand me? Never ever you. Else I will take the pleasure of making so sure you never conceive that idea again. Do you understand me? Which means I will end your miserable life. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I think I do. Now let this man think. here all alone. I'm at a service. No, that's not true. You're only pretending because I have Nicholas who pays handsomely for your services. You don't look happy my friends. Has your wife upset you again? Yeah, listen to me. Don't you dare talk about my wife like that. Do you understand me? You know nothing of her. Um, okay. Shut up. from your father's palace is here to see you. A servant from my father's palace? Yes. Yeah, my lady. I hope my father is okay. Um, he didn't disclose the reason he wants to see you. Lady, the Honorable Sailor and Hattie. He sent you to me then? No, my lady. May I speak to you alone, if you permit it, on a matter that concerns my honor? All right. You may leave us now. Yes, my lady. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, my lady. Please forgive my weakness. When a man is hot inside and cannot express himself physically, he cries to swallow the insult. You sound rather brave, Obai. Now that isn't an attribute of a coward. My lady. Prince Nicholas forced Lily to go away with him where he raped her. He what? I, are you sure? He, no, he can't do that. My, my God. My father must not hear of this. He mustn't. My lady, the Honorable is the one who approved of the incident. He even promised Lily of a reward if she keeps her mouth shut.
You look like a child who is full of worries, yet excited at discovering a new toy. Yes, I'm worried, but I still find fulfillment in the pure pleasure your body provides me. Of what use is your wife when she cannot make you happy? She is necessary at least for now. But I know deep inside of her she still yearns for my kid brother's love. Then, divorce her and marry me. It's not that easy. People will frown. You find pleasure in me. But you cannot proudly associate with me. You will always be special to me. I long for more. Soon you will be a king. It is my desire to be by your side as your queen. But you know that's not possible. Because of Helen? No. Because I'm a royal and you're a commoner. No title, no name. No money, no estates, no inheritance. But you can change it. No law is rigid. Perhaps I can. But you have to be patient. Or won't you? What choice do I have other than to wait? Dying in jealousy while you are with your wife. Just do what you do best to me, my dear. Please, Richard, I hope you slept well. No, I didn't. How so? I thought over the conversation we had and realized I didn't speak to you well. I apologize. Oh, I knew that wasn't you speaking. Your mind was abused. I was influenced. Influenced? By who? Nicholas and his counsel Clifford. Well, I'm equally concerned about Nicholas. But I'm sorry for him though, because uh, the disease that's eating him up uh, has dug in so deeply. I dare say that it might destroy him totally. So we've got to do something about it. He is my brother. We cannot allow him to decamp from father's path. Well, your father found out a long time ago that he has no son, your brother. Uncle Victor, he is my brother. I will not allow what he did to me to come between us. I agree with you. Don't let it. Because that will be playing directly into the hands of the enemies. Helen requested that I see her. Should I go? Well, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't oblige her. Unless, of course, you have any personal reasons. Certainly not. I've forgiven her for betraying me. Well, good. Um, it wasn't our wish. She was used by her father. Everyone knows of Chief Okakaza greed and selfishness. But I must warn you, my prince. You must tread very carefully because a woman's temptation is very hard to resist. My friends. Coming back from the home of one of your concubines, I presume. It's very obvious you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. It's not like you ever wake up on the right side anyways. Apparently not. When my nights are haunted by the rapist I married. What did you just say? Nicholas, you should be ashamed of yourself. Raping my father's servant is a slap on my face. You should be ashamed of yourself, Nicholas. I pity not me, for I am a living dead thanks to you. I pity those you are spared to rule. My goodness, your father will be so ashamed of you. He'll be crying in his grave, ashamed of the day you were conceived. I dare you, Nicholas! 
I dare you to raise a finger on me and I will expose you. I will discredit you. Yes, you shameless dog. I will. I dare you again. Father, you haven't answered my question. Did you consent to Nicholas taking that girl away to rape her? My daughter. I am not your daughter. If I were your daughter, you'd give me pride, not shame. My goodness, Father. All you care about is your politics and what you stand to gain from it. And yet you remain indebted. You see, Nicholas lied to me. He told me he was taking her to you so she can become one of your domestic staff. I'm ashamed and disappointed at you, Father. My God, I thought you had honor. The same attitude of yours is what sent Mother to an early grave and sacrificed my happiness by marrying me off to a man I love. Please forgive me, my daughter. Forgive me. A tale like this will never happen again. You made such promises before, Father. Why are you like this? Why am I so different from you? I pray to erase my childhood memory in order to hate you, but I can't. Because in spite of everything, I still love you. I... Sometimes I begin to ask myself this question. Adolfus or Kaka? Why are you like this? And I don't seem to get an answer. Hi. She trusted you, Father. She had faith in you. She had faith that you could protect her. The pain and trauma that girl has gone through will live with her for the rest of her life. Please, my daughter, help me to beg her. I am very, very sorry. In fact, I am ashamed of myself. Take care of yourself, Father. I have to make decisions that will make me happy. I'm glad you could make it at such short notice. Did you come alone as requested? Yes. Against Uncle Victor's wise advice that you always move around, fully protected by guys. Richard, they easily penetrated your father's security, didn't they? Please, sit and stop making me uncomfortable. When did you begin to indulge in alcohol? Alcohol? I need alcohol to calm my jumpy nerves. It took a lot of courage to invite you here alone, you know. Please, join me. I'm certain you will need alcohol after what I'm about to tell you. See? By the way, did you make any contact on our subject? <laughs> yes, I did, Chief. I aroused his interest. I could tell he wanted more. Oh, why did you hesitate then? Chief, I'm a woman. I don't need to cheapen myself, otherwise I lose my value. Mm, you see, Jethro. I must tell you, I'm impatient with women. Hmm? Though you are an exception. If there's someone I can trust more than people, it is you. I expect you to have a firm grip on it. It is very, very necessary. 
a sacrifice worth die for. And why there's another little problem, if not checked right away, could lead to an embarrassment to Nicholas. Remember, he is an investment. What is that, Chief? News just got to me about an encounter with him and then made a list with Chief Okaka. We don't need negative press. That young woman could open her mouth in a wrong place. Get the job done. happy again. Your color is back and filled with so much joy and fulfillment. Perhaps I am. I am so, so happy for you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Uh, my lady, you never really told me what transpired between you and Prince Richard. Oh, Ray. The lesser you know, the better for you. Just concern yourself with my welfare. My lady, that alone is my priority. Your happiness is what's, what gives me joy. It's my topmost priority. My lady. Nothing matters to a woman besides her happiness, her heart's desire. But you are have encouraged it. My God, how did I descend so low to take advantage of my brother's wife? Father, I must be a disappointment to you. Please forgive me. This, this will never happen again. I promise you. This will never happen to kid father. Prince Richard, I'm looking everywhere for you. Uh, I'm here, Uncle Victor. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I 
I understand. The shoes your grandfather left behind are much too large for your tiny and innocent feet. But don't you worry. I am here to guide you. It is a boy that grows to become a man. But that boy must be prepared for manhood. Let's talk about tomorrow. You must be prepared and fortified. Come. Nini, I do understand what you're going through at this moment. Because I've been down that road before. Don't look surprised. I was raped and this virgin by the same man who did this to you. I ended up being his wife. But that is not to be your faith. I understand, my lady. I want you to start a new life. Away from the little gossip and prying eyes. And for that reason, I have bought your freedom from my father. Thank you, my lady. You have to go away with Dubai. You have to promise me never to mention this to anyone. Never will I mention this to any other person, my lady. I trust you. I can't let you go start a new life empty-handed. Here. That's a millionaire. That should help you start off correctly. Thank you, my lady. You may leave now. you people. That's a shame because I know you. From, from where? Chief Okaka's residence. You are Lily, right? Upai's girlfriend? Yeah. We're engaged to be married. <laughs> That's so romantic. You see, some marriages are made in heaven. Whilst other marriages are made in hell. Where is your marriage made? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> your marriage is made in hell. <laughs> Now, finally, to what I know that most of you are keen on hearing, 
I read. After further consultation with my conscience, in order to determine who my true heir will be, and who amongst my two sons will sit on my throne, and further the cause of justice and the equity of which I represent in our great kingdom, and of which my father and my grandfather stood and died for, I have arrived at the conclusion that fairness is not always and must not always be set standards and rules according to our tradition and customs. Therefore, the throne of Kingdom remains vacant for two years after my burial. Can, can you hear yourself out? No, are, are, you, are you really listening to yourself? Can you hear yourself out? Please, Prince Nicholas. Allow the Paris man. Why are you talking about? What is this man talking about? Gentlemen, let us not say Look, what's he saying? Please, allow him. Prince Nicholas, sit down. Sit down. Allow the lawyer to finish with his legal jargons. We are listening to him. Don't worry. Do I proceed? Proceed with the lawyer. Please do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honorable Sir Victor Oduche, whom I trust and respect, shall oversee my estate and remain the interim ruler of Kwa Kingdom within the period of two years. This will not happen. What is this? This is conspiracy. I refuse this. I reject it. My father will. What? Richard, you're here. You're here. You're listening to this. They are trampling on our rights. This will not happen. You understand? You are a fake lawyer. Allow this lawyer. Allow this lawyer. Something is getting bad in this palace. And you're saying, allow this lawyer. Allow this lawyer. Sit down. Okay. Can I proceed, gentlemen? Proceed. 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 Shall oversee the running of my companies, uh, network communications, and future oils. While my second son, Richard Wale, shall be the head of Eris Global and his sister company, Kingdom Oils. Um, however, however, they are not entitled to any physical cash which shall remain in trust for them till the end of the stipulated time of two years. Thereafter, whoever amongst them excels in adventure shall be crowned the king of a kingdom and the true heir and successor to my estate. Or a fake lawyer, you understand me? You are a fake! That's all you are! You are talking about this, you understand me? You want to be king. You want to be king. It will not happen. You understand me? Let me. Let me I am very, very angry. Yes, I am angry. Now you may now ask me why. If Lily had listened to me, if she had allowed me to handle whatever her problem was, she wouldn't have been killed. You, you killed her. Oh yes, you killed her by going to my daughter, accusing the crown prince of raping her, thereby exposing her to dangers. Hi. Who are you? And what are you? May servants, common servants, who don't understand the intricacies and permutations of our local politics. Oh yes, you don't understand it at all. We 
Nigeria Vietnamese in town who are looking for slight opportunity to attack. That wouldn't have been possible if you, you, if you did not give them that opportunity. Lily was murdered by our political enemies whose stock in trade is just to them the image of our crown prince. Oh yes, to run him down. The deed is done. What do we do? Go back to your duties. Lily will get a good barrier, that's all. I'm saying I'm stupid. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, uh, look, Nick, this is an aberration. This is a calculated attempt to destroy you. And this is the handiwork, the brainchild of this victor, whatever. Yes, yes, I know. I know. Huh? I know that man hates me because my father couldn't have possibly thought of a silly, bizarre idea like that. Cliff. <laughs> Everything happening is your fault. Everything, your fault. It's yours. My fault? <laughs> Madam, everything that I'm doing is to protect the interest of my client, Prince Nicholas. Yes. By virtue of the fact that I am his counsel, I will not sit by. Oh no, madam. I will not sit by and watch what rightfully belongs to him taking away from him. By whom or from whom, wise counselor? Are you mad? Are you sick? It's very obvious that your love for my younger brother is still apparent. Nick! How can you say a thing like that? You think I don't know? You think I don't know? You think I didn't see the lust, the glaring lust in your eyes the day you came here? You think I didn't see that it? It's an insult on my person! You married me a virgin, pure and innocent, and you know that! Well, I tell you marrying you was a big mistake. Well, I didn't beg you to marry me, neither was I in love with you. Such, such, such an ingrate. Now what makes you think, what makes you still think that I wanted you in your silly mind just for once? You did it. You did it. Yet you manipulated my father to have me. You're a fool. You're a big fool. A big, 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 big fool. Now let me tell you something. Your miserable father threw you so cheaply at me. On bended knees, I only pitied his miserable life. This is unnecessary. Don't you dare get involved. Isn't this what you wanted? Isn't it? To cause division between the Kuala brothers? Isn't it? You go home! Go home and jubilate! Go home! My lady! Don't you dare, Lady Me! Ah! Nick! You dare to raise your hand on me? Ah! Who are you? Who the hell are you? Give a woman the chance to talk back at you. The woman is bad business, bad influence. You have just proven to me that you are the man, my prince. to be left alone. I know, my lady. But Lily's body was found dead in front of your father's house. What? That's another dream lost. Another dream killed. No one is going to kill my dream. No one. Well, my God. But 
I was trust on my own when you offered me money. <laughs> Did I have for it? But you accepted it. You accepted it. Okay, okay. This is blackmail. Blackmail. You have no conscience. <laughs> you have conscience. <laughs> yes. You have conscience. <laughs> you have conscience. Yes. That's why you accepted to be bought over. Where is your honor? Yes, where is your honor? Black man. What do we do now? There is trouble. Big trouble. The members of the council are divided. And they are individually major shareholders and members of board of directors of uh, Aries Global and Kingdom Oil. What are you suggesting? Well, what is going on here is a shame. But that is to be expected. See, Nicholas was influenced by Clifford. Chief Okaka naturally was influenced by Nicholas. And Okaka in turn bought over the chiefs. <laughs> Interesting. I am beginning to enjoy this. So who then influences Clifford? Because from the look of things, he's not walking alone. He has a master. Who is this master? Do you know? Only your father could have asked such a question. I am his son. Yes. There is no doubt about that. You are his son. You know, his last words to me before he passed on to the world beyond was, Tell Richard, my son, that he must not fail me. Uncle Victor, yes. did my father have enemies? There is no business mango that attained the height your father did that would not have stepped on one to or another on his way to success. Mm. Yes, he has enemies, seen and unseen. So who was my father's greatest admirer? Perhaps someone who admired his strategy and complimenting on his sources, yet battle with him for supremacy. Ah, that one day I would say it's Chief Pedro. Chief Pedro. But in that case, I will appreciate it if you can get me every information we need to get about him. I need it. Uncle Victor, if you wouldn't mind, I'm exhausted and I need to rest a while. If you do that, you need it. Thank you. He even walks like the lion himself. The pride of the man is to see himself in his son. Even better, the lion finally outsmarted himself. His two sons will end up as sworn enemies going for each other's throat. This might even work to our advantage. Is it not apparent that Aries Global and Kingdom Oils are both highly positioned? Yes, my dear. The wheel favors Richard. However, Nicola needs funds if he must succeed. That brings me in. You go for Richard's half. Create the necessary diversion in his supposed business sense. Why Sir Victor remain confused? 
wondering where he went wrong. <laughs> As pretty on you, King Hamas Quale. Mickey, calm down. This is your home. You seem restless and uncomfortable. So the walls have ears. Listen, I can rest assured you. Whatever you come to discuss with me will remain here. I've given them instruction that we will not be disturbed. Where's Uncle Victor? He's not around. He has spies everywhere. And that's why I'm not comfortable. You need not to be. I'm your brother, remember? Yes. You are my brother. But isn't it apparent that this father's will, that's if it's true father's will, is making us rivals? Yes. Um, Prince Richard. <laughs> you see, um, <clears throat> Your brother here is worried about you. Oh yes, he's concerned about you. And the reason for that is simple. You do not have the knowledge of the kind of dirty politics that go on in this Quark Kingdom. Yes. And you can easily be misled by, of course, you know. Let's, let's look at it this way. Regardless of what happens, no matter what happens, your brother here will excel. Oh yes, he will. The odds favor him. Absolutely. But you, if you fail, <laughs> you will not only lose face, you will not only lose personality, you will also lose the respect of the people of Gua Kingdom. Uh, but not mine, because you will always remain my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> you see, what we're trying to avoid is simple. We don't want a situation where you and your brother will start stepping on each other's toes over nothing. And that will not be too good for the family at all. So what are you suggesting then? Step down. Decline from head in Iris Global Oil. That would be contrary against father's wish. Uh, oh, <clears throat> well, um, Prince <laughs> Richard, of course you can do exactly what your father wished. Nobody's stopping you uh, at all. But carry your brother along. Help each other. Father wished for fair competition, but I know what I'll do. You go ahead and see if you can raise funds independently or with the shareholders, and I'll do the same. And in the end, if I excel, I will relinquish the throne for you because you're my other brother. Is this what Uncle Victor advised you? No what I intend to do. My brother is a fool. Oh yes, he's such a big fool. Big fool. You know, I gave that That shouldn't worry you. That's his funeral. So tell me, do you think we can, you know, contest that will in court? Hmm? I, uh, I'm sorry uh, to say no. You think I'm going to fail? Fail? <laughs> Bring me by your side. It's important to me that you have success because your success is my success. So you're going to succeed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
know I can trust you. Yes, yes. I can always trust you. Well, I, uh, I've been able to meet someone who would give us all the funds that we need. I'm listening. Okay. Um, the situation at hand now requires very huge funds. Um, that, for me, is the only option you have to beat your brother. To the game before he and his gang begin to organize. Of course, of course. And uh, who, who is this person? The fundraiser. Yes. He is the cobra. Chief Pedro. My Prince, I want to assure you that as the head of security, that the palace is safe and secured. We are not at war, are we? <laughs> well, uh, it's our Victor's instructions. Thank you. You're welcome, my Prince. Are you believe me? You're welcome, my Prince. What does your mistress want? She... She... Speak up! She sent me to ask you if you have the chance to come and see her. Well, it's unfortunate that I will not have the chance. May that be all? Yes, Your Majesty. Now you may leave now. What is it? Your Majesty, I don't know if it would be right to, to tell you without her permission. Tell me what? She had a fight with, with Prince Nicholas. No, Prince Nicholas beat her up because she insisted that he should not listen to Barista Clifford's advice. My brother is capable of handling his domestic affair. As a matter of fact, they are married. So let her do what she thinks is the best in their own interest. Would that be all? Yes, Your Majesty. You may leave now. Was that not uh, Ellen's maid? Yes, Uncle. Oh. Well, she was here on her and then, I presume. Something that has to do with a fight. By my brother. A fight? No, that is not good. Apparently, she's forcing him to listen to good reason. But Clifford, we're always confusing. Hmm. Well, there is nothing you can possibly do about that, my friends. However, I do have some information about what is going on now and what we need My to do. Sir Victor. Yes. Chief Okaka is here to see you. Chief Okaka? Yes, sir. Well, send him in. He has never seemed to be a noble man yet. Exactly. Greetings to my prince. By the special grace of God, the next king of my kingdom. <laughs> and to you, Honorable Sir Victor, the one our great lion trusted till his death. <laughs> and who, by the special grace of God, I know in his wisdom, would guide us to glory. You're welcome, sir. May you please have a seat. Thank you, my prince. <sighs> Hi. 
I now know why the great lion has preference for you. <laughs> you are intelligent. In fact, you are full of wisdom. <laughs> you, you are smart and humble. In fact, you have everything it takes for a great man to be. Chief Okaka. Chief Okaka. I have never known you to be a clown. And neither is our young Prince Richard here in the mood to be entertained. Oh, for Christ's sake, Savito. Ah, credit me for doing something good. Ah, uh, my actions were necessary. Eh? Oh, how would it look if I didn't lead your position? Chief Okaka, well, father deliberately mislead his son. Uh, Mbana, oh, oh, Mbana, that will be highly condemnable. In fact, it is an abomination. Good. My brother Nicholas looks up to you as a father. He trusted you to support him till death. Now, will you consider what you're now doing as a good father figure? Well, I reason with you, my friends. Because they say there is honor even among thieves. Do you agree there is honor among thieves? Well, what kind of a question is that, Father? I sent for you because, you know, I'm in some kind of trouble. Father. What happened? I tried to be a good father to you, but apparently that didn't work out. I sacrificed your happiness simply because I want to be counted among the nobles in this kingdom. Father, I'm your daughter. Tell me what happened. I wish I can turn the hands of clock backwards. But that is not possible. Father, you're speaking in riddles. <laughs> I need to know what the problem is. In spite of everything I've done to wrong you, do you still love me? Father, I might be unhappy with you. But I do love you. It's my faith. That's the price I have to pay for being your daughter. If you wish me not to be disgraced, please find a way to get across to your husband for him to forgive me. How? I was to carry out a little assignment for your husband, but that didn't work out fine. You must get him to forgive me. Father, is money some sort of gratification? Eh? Uh, you know, in politics, we need money to buy people. Father, I have no right to question you. But you must stop doing this. You have to stop getting into one problem or the other. How much is it? You don't understand. We are talking of honor and not refund. Please, you must get your husband to forgive me. Father Nicholas does not listen to me. He never listens to me. Yet you are my daughter. You must find a way to get across to him. If Richard refuses to see me, then I am finished. My lady, please stop talking like this. I hate to see you cry. I wish I could see his face. I hear his, his melodious voice. That will give me courage to remain in this bondage. My lady, please don't talk like this. You never can tell whom among the maids will report you to my lord. Look at me, Ure. 
Do I look like I care? Do I? My lady, he's your husband. You might be upset with him for now. <laughs> my mother died because of this. I have no one to talk to. No one to turn to. My lady, he might not be himself for now, but you as a good wife, you should be able to support him. I am not a good wife, Ure, because I have no husband. I demand to be left alone. I demand to be left alone. You've not slept? You do not care if I'm awake or asleep. Besides, why haven't you slept yourself? Well, I have a lot of things on my mind. So do I. My dear, try and sleep. I do not wish you ill to the extent of breaking down, huh? You seem not to realize, my lord, that at this point, I wish to drop dead. Ah, at least that would be a relief, you know, I would really care about too many things less. <laughs> In essence, you mean to say you care about me, don't you? Ah, you are my wife, aren't you? I don't know. I actually thought I was your slave. I know you're still mad at me for hating you. Mad? Who am I to be upset when my lord hates me? As a matter of fact, I'm used to it. I'm actually thinking of how to end it. Now listen, I intend to be king and I need you to stay alive. I can't afford to be distracted right now. When I said putting an end to life, I didn't mean mine, my lord. I meant ending yours. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, I am immortal. Now. You behave like a good wife and I'll treat you like one, eh? My lord, you cannot imagine how much I yearn to be close to you. I want to help you actualize your dreams. But I can't do that because you won't let me. My wife, I am so touched. So touched. But I know you hate me. I, no, no, I, no, no, I don't hate you. I, I don't. Listen, I want you to sit by your side as your queen, as your wife. But first, we have to be together. My father will mobilize all the support you need. All of it. Your father failed me. No, he was betrayed by your father, conniving with Uncle Victor before he died. He didn't want you to be king, but that will not happen. What are you talking about? I know enough to help you. How much do you give to my father to give to the other chiefs? Well, um, that, that wasn't my arrangement. Um, Cliff handles things like that. Let me into your planning with Cliff, and you'll be shocked as to how much I can contribute. Please. Did I... <laughs> did I just hear you right? Of course. But all I'm saying is that Helen can make healthy contributions uh, if we let and permit her, which I think we should. <laughs> my prince, my prince. On what side of the bed did you wake up? My husband woke up on the right side of the bed. He has realized I'm not a dummy after all. 
What's going on, Nick? I mean, why is she interfering? Clifford Bassi. Are you a friend or a fool? Helen is my wife, okay? I mean, if I can trust my wife, who else can I trust? I'm still waiting for your answer, Cliff. Uh, yes, uh, of course I'm a friend. Uh, as the noble prince himself knows, um, of course I am a friend. I'm a friend of this family. Uh, permit me, madam, to uh, apologize for having made you feel that your thoughts and contributions were not meaningful to the overall good of your husband. It was a mere oversight. I do forgive the oversight. Thank you. I certainly will overlook it, Clifford. Now tell me. Who financed the campaign to get the chiefs on my husband's side? Do I have to answer that? Oh no, you don't. But I'm wondering, if you don't answer that, how am I supposed to be part of a new development when I'm not duly informed? Answer the question, Cliff. Well, the... The contribution came from someone who believed in the fight that we were both fighting, uh, your husband and I. Name? Name? Look, it's not necessary. It, it, it is very necessary, Clifford. You need to know everyone who's on my husband's side. Yes. And you never told me. Well, um... Uh, his uh, name is uh, Chief Pedro. Chief Pedro. Chief Pedro. Look, how could you do a thing like that? I mean, how could you take money from a man I'm considering to do business with or not? That man was my father's enemy, you know. Isn't that so, Cleef? Oh, yes. Yes. Relax. However, you must bear something in mind. That my father must be exempted from what happened. He did not fail. He was sabotaged. Is that clear? Cleef? Yes, madam. My lady? Oh, <laughs> yes, my lady. My son, this is a precarious situation. But you made a wise decision by coming to me. Clifford, be grateful to him. He is a good man. Oh, of course, Chief. I, I, I do believe in his expertise and his knowledge. I do. You see... Your father, your late father, hmm? was a very humble man whom I admire so much. So why wouldn't I be willing to help a son? But you see, as a businessman, hmm, I have to tread softly and with a great question to know what I'm putting my money into. What is your offer? <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you see, w we're trying to establish, uh, actually float another company different from Future Oils and Communications Network. What we're trying to do now is to float um, an electronics company. Yes, uh, uh, Chief, we have concluded with our partners in Japan and I beat my chest to say that it's going to be the biggest electronic manufacturing company in this part of the world. Oh, well, there are several electronics company out there in the market. How do you intend to succeed? Oh, simple. Chief, that, that's, that's simple. <laughs> All we need to do is 
ensure that our products are tropicalized, um, flood the market with them, uh, make them affordable so everyone can buy them cheaply. <laughs> that way we are we're, we're selling, we are yeah. selling and making money. Of course. Uh, you see, Chief, our feasibility studies and our... No, 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 Nicholas, there's no need for you to continue. Because if you have your father's brain, no, that, then there's no doubt that you will excel in whatever you venture into. Uh, you see, my question was, what is your offer? What do I stand to benefit in this whole arrangement? Oh, simple. Simple, Chief. Um, that is fully taken care of. <laughs> We're giving you 30%, yes, 30% of the entire company. I presume, is that your new electronic company? Of course, Chief. Okay. You see, I am an oil mogul. That is what I know how to do best. But that is not to say I don't have interest in whatever that is profitable. Now listen to me. I will invite my lawyers to draw agreement between us. I don't need your 30%. Rather, you will offer me 80% of future oil and network communications. Should you fail to return my money within stipulated period? Um, I'm, I'm chief. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, of course, chief. We will return the money even before the stipulated time. So we accept. Okay, okay. Uh, that's okay by me. <laughs> it calls for celebration. Then let us meet later in the club tonight. You know that my club. I guess you know it. It will meet later. <laughs> Where's Helen? I've not seen uh, her. Hey, look, Nick, I, I was going to come around to that, okay? Now, I, I tolerated her interference the other day because you were there and I had to respect you. But I'm not going to take it again. Oh, yes. Now, you have to make a choice between keeping her, all right, or, and losing me. What exactly are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is simple. Now, can't you see? Are you so stupid? Oh yes, you're acting like one who is. Can't you see that this girl is out to destabilize us? To destroy us? Okay. Since when did she start getting interested in our business? But I hey, hey, listen. No, 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 don't even go there. Don't even bot. Don't even bot nothing. Because her father sent her to work on you, knowing that he failed us. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, of what use will any information be to that man? Of what use? Yes. Well, I never wanted to say this, but I'll say it right now. That your wife, Helen, went to Sir Victor, whatever, and Richard, your brother, to seek favor in exchange for little damaging information that his daughter can supply. Wait, wait. What? Are, 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 are you saying... I'm saying that, that she's working for them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, she is. And, and I thought... Shut up! Now listen, I'm going out right now, okay? 
okay? And by the time I came back, you must have told your father my message, okay? You must have told him I married him and I'm coming for him tomorrow. You understand me? Just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Let the news filter out. I don't care if he's king of our away kingdom. I don't care. He and his gold killed my father. He killed my father. My lady, if you would ask me, I would say my lord is being misled. Um, like I was saying, you have to actually, um, from point of consensus, what are you doing in my home? You've come here to mock me and miss you! You murderer! Beast of the earth! What are you doing in my home? What wrong with you? Get away from my house! Get away! What is this? Will you get a hold of Get a hold of yourself! What is this? Get away from my house! What's wrong with you? Get away from my house! What is wrong with you? Get away from my house! Get away from my house! How come we just meet him? I wonder, where have you been looking all this while? Well, let's say I spent much of my time out of the kingdom. And prior to that? Come on! <laughs> I was born and bred here. I just left for my education lately. And you never noticed me? Where were you then? Unlike you, I was born in London. But then I came back to the kingdom. Really? Really? And ever since you've been around? Well, I guess you must have been indoor. <laughs> I'm actually an outdoor person. But you never noticed me because your world revolved around her. Who? Oh. Your heart throbbed then, your brother's wife now. My lady, you've been like this for the past few months. Are you okay? I'm fine, Ure. Thanks for your concern. My lady, you are not okay. Is there anything I could do to cheer you up? <laughs> if you bring back Prince Richard to me, perhaps everything will be well again. My lady, I wish I could. Even those in the King's Palace knows about his recent attitude. Is something wrong? My lady not with him, but his heart. His heart? His heart has been poisoned. Poisoned? By whom? By the love of a woman. 
the one whom Uncle Victor apparently refuses him to get married to. A woman? How can he... When I am... I demand to be left alone. My lady... I demand to be left alone! My lady... Ure... My lady... I'm sorry I shouted at you. I've... I've been unwell and... The doctor says that I'm pregnant. <coughs> no! Please. My husband does not know a word of this. I'm sorry. My lady. Okay, my lady. <laughs> Look, we're going to throw a big party, very big party, and then cliff to the no such thing. I'm still mourning my father, whom you and your cohorts killed. My love. Yes, I, I, I do know I was angry at your father, yes. But I had nothing to do with his death. I have not directly. I didn't have any information about it. Please. It's very unfortunate your father died. Yes, I know it's bad. But for, for, for the sake of our babies, you, you, you just have to stay healthy. Okay, please. Okay. And, and, and again, um, please. Um, for, forgive Clifford, okay? He, he is my associate, okay? Please. You know, I, I, I just want you right now to know that you've made me proud and I'm going to make you happy. You know, just ask me anything you want. Anything, anything at all I'll give you. Okay? Look, I, I, I don't even want you to touch anything again in this house. Don't touch anything. Don't do any chores. Yes, you're just going to come with me. I want you to lay down on the bed. Yes, you're going to lay down on the bed. Prince Richard, I said, I would like to have a word with you. Besides, it's confidential. Don't be long. No, I won't. <laughs> Prince Richard, this has got to stop. And it has to stop right now. Uncle Victor, you have lost your sense of reasoning, Prince Richard. Your father's burial is just around the corner. This wasn't necessary. It is necessary. Now, if you look up to me as your father, you do not expect me to stand by and watch you destroy everything I have worked for. Your father's dreams, the dreams of those that look up to you. Listen, I've been following my business, okay? Everything is perfectly okay. I'm not lost. You are lost to lost. And I'm beginning to think that that young woman crawled out of the dark into your life just to distract you. Listen, she hasn't done anything wrong. Of course she hasn't done anything wrong. Which is why you do not realize that your brother is in deep trouble. What's wrong with him? Prince Richard. When you were still thinking like the son your father urged me 
to guide to success. You guessed correctly that Clifford must have been working with the master. And that master happened to be the cobra. Cobra. Chief Pedro? Yes, Chief Pedro. Now while I was busy worrying my head to death trying to find out how Nicholas got all that money out of nowhere to finance his company. And you were busy frolicking with Miss Gertrude. Little did I know that all that money came from Chief Pedro. But we countered the strategy outsmarted them by going public and raising funds. Yes, we're doing well. I was sure I sought after even by foreign investors. Prince Richard, you are not thinking that it is your frolicking with Miss Gertrude that yielded such fruits, do you? Um, I remain most grateful to your wise counsel. I expect your brother to run to you pretty soon because he has nowhere to go to. Why? Why? Because he is broke. That's why. His electronic venture crashed like a pack of cards. And besides, I'm officially announcing to you here now that I am retiring. I'm an old man now, Prince Richard. I need my rest. What are we going to do? I mean, the pressure has become too much, too sudden. How can our Japanese partners pull out now? First minute, why now? When we have exhausted our funds in building the factory for the electronics company. Now, now, why are you ranting? It's there in the contract that these guys can pull out whenever they find out that the contract is not profitable. Wait, are you suggesting that you always knew that this business wasn't going to be profitable? Oh, I didn't say that. Cliff! You are my lawyer. You are my partner. You dropped that agreement. You always knew. I knew nothing. Nick, I did not know anything. I only did what I thought was best for us. What was right? What was I mean, can you just see yourself out? What was right? Do you know I'm going to be disgraced? I'm going to be humiliated. I am not going to ascend that throne. I'm not going to become king. The money my father left in the Swiss account, 500 million dollars will go to my brother and my wife. Oh, my wife, 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 wife. Is there nothing we will ever say in this place without you having to mention your wife? Wait, wait. We're talking business here. Wait, wait. Are you not happy I, I am going to become a father? Look, uh, Nick. Clifford! I... You took us to Chief Pedro to take that loan, and you always knew Chief Pedro was my father's enemy! You! You're an ingrate. Excuse me? You're an ingrate. You should be grateful to me. I was doing you a favor. A favor? A favor by arranging with Chief Pedro to take over 85% of my companies if I defaulted? Were you drunk when you were signing that contract? Were you blindfolded? Oh, you did it under duress. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to know who you are. Okay. Are you intentionally trying to humiliate okay. me? It's okay. Since you do not trust my judgment, I'm out. What are you talking about? I'm leaving you. Do we have any binding contract? What about Chief Pedro? Go to court when he comes for you. I'm sorry to have argued with you, okay? Look, Nick, Nick. I am done with her. Come on, come on. You, you, you can't abandon me now. I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, you, you can't abandon me now. If I'm on my own, I wouldn't know what to do without you. Come on. None of your business, okay? Let, let's go in and let's talk like men, huh? like friends that we are. Huh? No, come on, come on. I mean, you're a man, you're not a woman. I think there's a problem somewhere.
Nikki. I can't believe you agreed to a deal like this. Look, I, I, I was desperate. I, I was confused and, and now I'm much more confused. But not the father's old rather. Listen, this man knew exactly what he wanted from the onset. 80%? This is criminal. Look, you're, you're my brother. Your family, you're my blood. I have no one to run to. Please. You just have to help me, please. But you know this is against father's witch. Richard, what are you talking about? I mean, are you just going to stand aside and let someone take over father's business? If father were to be in your shoes now, what do you think he would have done? Help me, please. jeopardize everything. If you help him, you'll no longer become king. I'm not really keen on being a king. I just wanted to fulfill my father's wishes. So what about all of the money that you stand to gain? I'm comfortable, sweetheart. And very soon, I will become a director in the company. What would Sir Victor say if you were to consult him? Without doubt, he would bluntly refuse. And I have no intention of consulting him. Then I'll leave you. What? Go back in there and tell your brother that you cannot help him. If you can't do it, give me the honours. He is my other brother, and besides, my father would never have rest even in death, knowing that the Cobra took over half of his empire. Fine. I know Sir Victor doesn't like me. I'll seize this opportunity to straighten out our differences. No, no, you will not do anything like that. Stop me if you can. Hey, 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 hey. Please. Please. So what's it going to be? I guess I have to turn it down. <laughs> Good boy. Sorry, Nick. I can't help you. What? You hurt me. Richard. Richard, please. Please. I've been doing a lot of thinking uh, within the last couple of days. Um, if something should happen to you now, who takes over everything? That's a stupid question. Of course, Richard. Good. Now, if something should happen to Richard, who takes it all? Me, of course. Oh, my... Um my unborn son. Well, why do you ask? Well, uh, nothing really. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Just a thought. You see that name, Richard? That name, Richard. I don't want to ever hear it again. I'm telling you, I hate him so much that I can even kill him. 
tell you that. Since you hate him so much, you could kill him. What are you waiting for? friend of yours planning anyways. None of your business. If Ure leaves, I leave too. Not with my own born child. <laughs> your, your child? Yes, my child. <sighs> what's wrong? <sighs> what, what, what's wrong? <sighs> what, 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 what's wrong? Oh, get away from me! When you start caring about me anyway? Hey, you are carrying my son, okay? <sighs> what is going on? Can you talk to me? Ure is not leaving. What, what, what's going on? Ah! What, what, what's happening? What? What? Ah! What, the water just broke. What, what, what broke? Oh, the water just broke. You're what, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm in Ava. What? I'm in Ava. Oh, oh, okay, 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 just, just, ah! just, I need you to breathe. Just breathe. Okay. Ah! okay. She's not leaving. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Oh, yeah. uh, you don't know what's in it. Oh, yeah. Don't you go oh, in it. Just keep breathing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My son, now that is very good. I am quite happy for your brother. Well, I hope you settle down soon. So, have you sent your congratulatory message? But I was just coming to that. Helen requested my presence at the hospital. Why? Well, um, there were some complications, but I think she's safe now. Well, in that case, I think her husband should be able to take care of things. I don't want you dashing out of your uh, palace here anywhere because uh, your safety is very important at least until after your father's burial and all this business is sorted out Uncle Victor yes. she said it's very urgent uh, Prince Richard I just don't want you dashing out of the palace without purpose but your safety is paramount but uh, Uncle don't but me Prince Richard don't it is important that you stay within the premises of the palace for now. And when I was talking about settling down, I wasn't talking about her. Excuse me. What's happening? Helen wants to see me at the hospital, but Uncle Victor will not allow me. Why? It's the right thing to do. It's about security. <laughs> Don't listen to him. You see, Sir Victor's hatred for your brother Nicholas causes him not to see reason. Go to the hospital and see your brother's wife. decided on what name you're calling him? Yes. In Moscow. Wow. Oh my god. Look at you. Hey, Mas, come on, look at me. Look at me. Do you recognize me? <laughs> Helen, are you alright? I... I... Richard. I have to be very honest with you. Your life is in danger. I know. Even my brother's life. But you don't seem to understand me. You should not have refused Nicholas's request. Hey, listen, I wouldn't want us to talk about that, alright? He will kill you. I know you're not happy with him. Right. I called you here to warn you. Because even my maid Ura heard Cliff and Nicholas discuss it. Helen. Nicola just might be violent by his brother. He hates you! 
He wants to kill you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, alright? I appreciate that you can tell me everything I need to know about my brother. With this, I will take precaution. One more thing. What? Amos is not Nicholas's son. What are you saying? Amos Kuala is not Nicholas Kuala's son. Who is his father then? Someone wants to speak to you. Hmm? Someone wants to speak to you. Excuse me. Ah. Excuse me Yure! What are you doing there? What are you doing here? Um, I, I was... You are Ure, right? Helen's maid? Yes, I am. So what are you doing here? Um, I'm, I'm going to the park. I want to go... In fact, I'm leaving the kingdom now. Oh, okay. I'm going the same way. 